Hey, here's Josh from Redrix and I want to present you the Slack friend. We at Redrix set ourselves the aim to create a releasable weblog and therefore we experimented with a lot of different concepts and ideas and one day we found a really promising blocking mechanism. So therefore we created the Slack friend. Let me show you how it works. So the Slack friend consists out of three parts. You have here one ring, then you have the main body with a hole for attachment the, and the ring and the main body are connected with a rubber cord. The ring wants to sit over the front here and then there's the soft shackle which is going through the hole. So that's how it looks like the soft shackle is inside and you see the soft shackle can rotate here freely through the hole. Okay, so the slack front has three main advantages. First of all, its weight, then the pre-tensioning, and then the ability to release tension again. The weight is with only 119 gram. It's extremely light, and as you can see, the connector is included already. So I just need a tripo, a sling, and then I can directly connect with a soft shackle. I can directly connect the soft shackle to it. Make sure you know how to use a soft shackle that it's closed properly. With this setup, it's able to create an incredibly lightweight setup because I don't need any metal connectors, which are usually really heavy. So let me show you how to load it now, in case you have a webbing tail available. So the first step is, I'm going through the gap between the ring and the main body, going around this diverter here, at the back side, and then going again through the gap between the ring and the main body. Then I just pull the webbing tail below the red pin in the front here and that's it. And now the second adventure is the very easy pre-tensioning so I can effortless pull through here even if it's a lot of webbing with no problem pulling through a lot and I can tension to a relatively high load. If you want the tension relatively high, you, it's the best way to just get a bite through here on top of the red pin and like this I can tension it efficiently. Yeah, and then just make sure to um, uh, tie off the tail to the anchor um, in case anything is failing that the weblog is not shooting in, in your direction. Then to the third advantage of this weblog is the ability to release. In order to release, you can you need to pull this handle to the front. The easy way to do this is getting a bite through here again, doing some webbing. And now what I can do, I can hold here with my left hand, pulling back this handle, and with my right hand I can feed in webbing and like this is possible to con um, release it in a controlled way. Okay, now I want to show you how to load the weblog in case you don't have a webbing tail available. Therefore I need to open the soft shackle. And the second step is getting the ring off. I take a bite. So the top layer is where you want to walk on. I go through the ring, then going around, taking here the one end of the soft shackle through, going around the whole device, and pulling the ring over the nose here again. And then I can simply close the soft shackle, the last step. And like this, it's good to go again. Thanks for watching. In case you have any questions, put them in the comments.